What? What? Wait, wait, can I? No. Can oh. I, can I keep them in suspense a little bit longer? Suspense. Longer. This is Zoe. Important. This is, I've, I've seen it on TV. I think this is how they do it. Um, I, I, I have a list here of people I want to thank, of course. There's a million names running through my head, but I will probably pay my pants at this point. I haven't gotten back to the bathroom yet. So, um, I want to start off by thanking so much. Well, first, like, obviously, everybody here. Thank you so much for coming out for this. This was incredible. Thank you, really. All of you, thank you. Um, maybe slightly more important than some of you here, uh, Maureen McGuigan, uh, Deputy Director of Arts and Culture for Lackawanna County. Thank you. She has mentored me through this entire experience. It would not have been possible without her support for like believing in this, so thank you so much. Uh, I want to thank all of the Lackawanna County Commissioners. Uh, I want to thank Connor O'Brien and Teresa O'Connor of the Vintage Theater for having us. Thank you so much, Connor O'Brien, for his fantastic story. Uh, AJ Mattisavage for promotional artwork and website design. <laughs> Mark Denenbaum Jr. and Tim McDermott. Tim, for his fantastic story of 25-8 Productions, who are recording this tonight. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we, did, we did some publicity stuff. Uh, I want to thank Erica Funky of WVAA, Dave Durienzo of Rock 107, and Eric the Prospector Logan of Rock 107. They had us on. If you caught it, it was funny and embarrassing. <laughs> Electric City, The 570, The Times Tribune, uh, The Abington Journal, Julie Schumacher-Cohen, uh, the Director of Community Relations at the University of Scranton for helping us put up posters, getting the word out. Just everybody involved in publicity. Thank you so much if you retweeted us. Thank you. Um, Andrea Tallarico of Library Express, wonderful woman. <laughs> I know, you could win. You could win the whole Library Express. Yeah, <laughs> not really. You can't win the whole Library Express. Um, but you can go there. We have a... Somebody, somebody's gonna get it, you fight over it. Um, and uh, the people who engraved the trophy, I don't know if they're here tonight, but. Um, yeah, no, really great job if you got a chance to see this. But um, uh, okay, and the last, but certainly not least, I want to, I want to thank uh, Pamela McNichols. Pamela, are you in the audience tonight? Oh, are you here, here? Come on up. This beautiful woman, I don't know if you can tell by the, the hair or remarkably similar last names, is my mother. <laughs> and, um, uh, thanks, Mom, for everything. She, I don't think you understand the revolting amount of time that she put into this and me, at least nine months, like 16 years was great. Um, thanks, Mom. All right. All right. The winner. Thank you. And we'd also like to thank, once again, all the storytellers but there can be only one. I'm looking at it. I know who the winner is. <laughs> I know who's gonna take this beauty home. This really is awesome. I DJ and I would love to have a trophy like this. The winner of the first ever Vintage Theater 2012 Story Slam is... Amy Archer! <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're very welcome. Congratulations to all of us for sharing this in the evening. Uh, let's do it again soon sometime. Give me a call. Have a good night, everybody. Story Slam. <laughs>